So I'm going to give you a walkthrough of how to do some base calling using Guppy. The first thing to do is probably the most important thing is to actually just sign into your Nanopore account. And then if you go into protocols, um, you can find Guppy in here. Uh, please make sure that you have actually downloaded the most up-to-date um, Guppy as it will be the, the most accurate when it comes to the base calling. It's worthwhile having a little read through um, the quick start bit. Now, most of you probably be using Windows or Mac. Um, I've got a Windows one. And it gives you a nice little bit. And it's got like little screenshots to follow as well. Um, and it tells you everything you kind of really, really need to, to focus on and make sure that it's going to be OK. Now, this is what we want, this one dimensional um, sequencing. And it's really nice because you can just kind of copy and paste this. The speech marks are important. Uh, what I generally do is I make a little Word document or a Google Doc uh, with each kind of bit to go through because that's going to enable me to check before I paste it into the command bit, the um, that command line. So in here, we've got this. All of this needs to come into your little black box in here and it's going to be pasted we've got our input path and our save path and now your flow cell you're going to have that um min um i think it's underscore 106 or 107 and then your rad uh dash 004 yeah, everyone's using that same kit but um mine will say the flongal version in here just because of this little walkthrough. Um, I'm going to use data that hasn't worked, but it's the, the most recent one that actually needs base called. So I'm going into my little one up here, and I'm going to kind of copy and paste what I need at the start, which is everything down to there. Control V. And the key bit is I need to make sure that I have just one space between input path and this file directory. Now, the easiest thing to do is go into your documents and find it, which is this one for me. And we're looking for this fast five file, and you can see it didn't work. It's only got two bits. I'm right clicking up in the address and I'm copying the address as text. So I go back into my document and I hit Control V. Then make sure I put in one more space. We're hitting this save path. Hoping that that should only have one space after it again. And then I need to make one. And I uh, generally write down like base call at the end. And the, the easiest thing to do is like just literally go up to and add in a, a new folder. And I've gone down the that whole thing of. Um, picking out the uh, day as well as the, um, the actual cultivar. And again, open it, then do your copy as text and paste. Okay, make sure that you've only got that one space, a little self-check. And then there's the last bit. So we have a, a dash at the end, and this is where the last bit will be the same. But the start years will say like min rather than uh, flow. Okay, so the this will be min one zero six, I believe it might be one zero seven. Um, check with your flow cells, and then I copy all of this, making sure I don't add in an extra space. I go into this command prompt, which you can find um, in your start menu. Hit that, and then hit enter and you should end up with this and because i've only got a couple of files it should be relatively quickly and uh, just to rattle through it will go through um threads is just how many different ways it goes in and out uh, you might have more you might have less um but yeah this is what you should see if everything's been done correctly